Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a great day. Um, oh, I don't know where to start this vlog. I haven't vlogged in a good few days, so I'm a bit like, Egh. So this morning, I got back into my routine. I got up at 7.30 a.m. I had a shower. I have already walked the dogs. Already done a little bit of editing of a vlog. So yeah. I'm glad to be getting back into my usual schedule because for the last few weeks I've just been all over the place like I've been going to bed at like 4 a.m. and I'm just getting up at ridiculous times and I don't know it's just all over the place I'm getting back to normal <laughs> eventually and yeah I apologize that there hasn't been many vlogs recently either I haven't even been in Inverness for the last like four days so yeah Anyways, I'm back with a vlog, whoop whoop, although I forgot to vlog all of this morning, like me walking the dogs and stuff, but anyways, I'm gonna get breakfast. Actually, I forgot that before I have breakfast, I need to actually do something to my appearance, so I need to do my makeup and straighten my hair, because today I'm also gonna film, because, surprise, surprise, I've been slacking on that as well, so today is a productive day and I'm gonna film, so I need to get ready. Max, what are you doing? <laughs> He's literally going crazy at my feet. Max, do you want attention or something? Yeah? Okay. Okay. As if I haven't already given you enough. Hmm? <laughs> Max, you're crazy. And Oliver's copying you. What the hell? So it's a wee wily later and I've now done my makeup. I'm awful at doing makeup, so you probably can't even tell. But anyways, I have literally been sat here for hours just um, replying to loads of your guys' comments because I was so far behind. But I'm finally caught up, so I'm feeling really good. Like, I've caught up in all my editing as well, made all my thumbnails. Literally just been the most productive day ever, and it's only, like, 12. Like, it's only just turned the afternoon and I've already done so much, so I'm well chuffed. Um, I'm really hungry and want lunch, but the thing is, I'm filming a video today and I'm going to be filming a mukbang, so I'm going to go to McDonald's, but I'm not going to McDonald's until I drop Laura off at work, just so I can, like, make one trip of it. So I've got to wait for another two hours until Laura goes to work, until I can eat my lunch, so I might need to get a snack. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to film a mukbang because... I haven't filmed one of those in ages and I've never filmed one in my car so it'll be very exciting so yes there'll be a McDonald's mukbang coming um your way soon so I hope you're excited for that because I'm very excited right I'm in the car now with Laura why why don't you ever want to be in my vlogs anymore okay sorry I didn't know oh my neck is so red that's weird anyways I'm taking Laura to work and then I'm going to McDonald's and we did have a McDonald's last night didn't we as well so, a lot of McDonald's. Am I still on time for you for work? Yeah? Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna go through the drive through I think I'm gonna park and get my McDonald's and then fill my McBank because I'm too scared to go through the drive through I'll tell you about my experience yesterday going through the drive through once I get Laura to work because I don't want her to be late. I can feel you looking at me. So, I just finished eating my McDonald's and filming my McBank. It was so awkward. Everybody was watching me and still people are watching me because again, I'm filming myself. Why am I embarrassing myself so much? Oh, this little thing called YouTube that everybody just does not understand um but anyways i forgot to take a thumbnail so i don't know what to do i mean i've still got like the wrapper and that so i might take this home and try and do something to try and get a thumbnail because i don't have one currently but yeah laura's gone to work i've had my mcdonald's i've been fed i need to go to tesco now for mum um to save her going today i'm gonna get the food shop and I also need to buy my mum like a card because basically it's Mother's Day, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. But I have a surprise for her, which requires me to give her her present early. I'll explain when I get home because too many people are looking at me. Right, I got what I needed at Tesco. Literally almost killed myself trying to carry it from Tesco to here because I had to park so far away because I can't park. And I had like eight pints of milk and just like loads of other food. So it was really heavy, but I managed it. And I managed to get what I needed for my mom's surprise. I'll explain it when I get home. I'm just so nervous about driving home that I just wanna make sure I can do that first. What am I doing? I'm all disorganized. Right, let's go.
So I've just got back home. I need to try and be quiet because this is where we talk about my mum's surprise, which I'm so blooming excited about. She has no idea. So yeah, let me just explain. I'm gonna pop the camera down. Cause we all know I'm lazy and my arms get too sore. Right. Right here. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Yeah, went to Tesco, bought this card. Um, wasn't really the one I was looking for, but there wasn't much selection so I kind of had to just go with this. What I basically needed was a blank card and I wanted the seaside on it so like technically it does have the seaside on it but I don't know I just wanted it to be here but anyways it will do. I need to try and be a little bit quieter because you can literally hear everything in our house but basically like I said yeah it's Mother's Day not this Sunday but next Sunday and for Mother's Day I'm surprising my mum with another trip away which I'm so excited about. I honestly, oh my goodness, I can't wait to see her face. I think she's gonna be so happy and I just love surprising my mum because she literally means the world to me. She's my everything, she's my best friend. I honestly don't know what I would do without her. There's like times in my life where I literally just could not have got through it without my mum so I absolutely love treating my mum and she deserves it so much like I wish I could give her more I wish I could give her the whole world if I blooming could because she deserves it um so yeah anyways I'm taking her away but what happened was I actually forgot that it was so soon because I booked this like ages ago like had it all organized ages ago and then I was like oh it's like months away you're fine like you don't really need to tell her, like, don't need to worry about it or, like, plan anything. It's ages away. And then the other day, I walked into Tesco with Laura and Laura was like, have you got mum a Mother's Day present yet? And I was like, wait, when's Mother's Day? And she's like, oh, next week? I'm like, oh. So I didn't realise how quickly it'd come around. So, yeah, I have to give it to her early because, obviously, we're going in, like, I think it's, like, five days' time. I feel like mum might stress out when I tell her it's in five days time because like as much as she loves surprises I don't know if she's gonna be like stressed that it's not that far away that it's literally like in five days but yeah I did want to surprise her actually on mother's day and then like go away after mother's day but because um like after mother's day is like the easter holidays it was so expensive like triple the price I was like nah we'll just go early and celebrate mother's day early so that's what I'm gonna do so I got her a little card and I'm gonna tell her that we're going oh I haven't even told you where I'm taking her I'm taking her to Brighton which is so exciting I booked our flights and everything and our hotel and stuff and I'm so excited Brighton is somewhere that I've always wanted to go and the fact that the first time that I go I get to experience it with my mum my best friend I'm so blooming excited if you are new to the vlogs or like haven't been around since last year I surprised my mum last year for her birthday and took her to London and that was her first time on a plane so I'm so happy that I'm able to take her on a plane again for the second time I don't think she'll be expecting it so I'm very excited I'm gonna write out a card I just want to do something like cool to like surprise her but I ran out of time and money also like I was gonna get like balloons and stuff and I was like you know what so you too much money you need to save your money for when you're actually in Brighton so that we can do some cool stuff and also let me know what things mum and I should do in Brighton because I literally have nothing planned all I've done is book the flights and the hotel and I kind of just didn't expect it to come around so quickly so I'm gonna write this card and then we're basically gonna tell mum that I'm taking her to Brighton which I am so excited about we're going for like I think we're going for like three or four days I can't even remember oh my god this is so bad um but yeah somewhere I've always wanted to go and I know that mum has always wanted to go as well and mum never goes away like the last time mum was away was when I took her to London um last year and yeah so excited Okay, so I've written it out. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling so nervous. I don't know, like I'm excited but nervous. Okay, so I'll just read out what I wrote. Hopefully she can't hear me. So I wrote, two mums, so you may be wondering why you're receiving a random card from me. I know it's not Mother's Day yet, but I have to give you a present to you early. I want you to know how much you mean to me and that you are my best friend in the whole wide world. I literally cannot thank you enough for everything you do for me. I am forever grateful for all that you are and who you've taught me to be. There are not enough words to even describe how important you are in my life and so I hope that this surprise helps you understand how much I love and adore you. This Sunday I'm taking you to Brighton so I hope you didn't find flying too scary last time and that you're ready to hop on another plane with me. Happy early Mother's Day. I'm so excited to make even more memories with you. I love you to the moon and back with lots and lots of love. Hugs and kisses from Lucille. Ooh, I hope she likes it. Oh my god. I'm so scared but I'm just gonna get this over with. Oh my god. She's probably gonna know that I'm up to something when I take my camera out and I'm like 
Mum, here you go. She'd be like, why are you filming me? Something's going on here. She would be right. Mama, Hello. I have a random little card for you. Why? What is it? Oh, you'll have to see. God, you're so nervous. <laughs> why? Me making you nervous? Look, I'm getting anxious. Me too, I'm turning. scared. Why? What I don't, have you got to see? Nothing. I mean, not much. Oh. What? Oh my god, you see all what the heck? I have to give it to you early Are because you Yes. Yeah. What on earth are you doing that for? Because I want to treat oh you. Oh my god. And I know you always wanted to go. Oh, like me. See <laughs> you. Oh my god. We're going to fly now. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. I'm shaking. <laughs> I know. I can feel it. <laughs> it's on Sunday. <laughs> so soon and Lauren was like oh it's Mother's Day soon and I was like geez oh. best get a card that was the only seat so I don't know a card is it should <laughs> always should be you <laughs> see you're too generous you excited? oh my gosh so excited I've never been before me neither <sighs> I'll have to get my nana a little magnet or something oh I was thinking of others oh you're ready to fly again <laughs> I can't wait <laughs> That's so exciting. Oh. We're going for three nights. What, because it takes, it takes a while to get there. <laughs> what, you thought I was just taking you for an, a day? Are you being serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what, you what thought we were just going to fly there and back on the same day? Yes, no. for a day trip. No, we're going oh. for shopping and I don't know what else. Oh, Lucille. <laughs> Oh god, you make all my dreams come true. Oh. You're so cute. Oh. I'm so excited. They have really cute little gift shops apparently oh. that you like. I bet it'll probably be raining but I'll laugh. Oh, who cares? By oh. the seaside. Yay. I love you so much. That's okay. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Oh, oh I can't <laughs> wait. That means you might have to put up my snoring a little bit. <laughs> so I promise I'll try not to. <laughs> Mom, I really don't care. Oh, yeah! Oh my God, what a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Are you so crying good. again? I don't know. I can't help it. That's fine. That's where I get Just it from. I love that so much. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Woo! We're gonna Wait till oh I tell Dad. God. He doesn't know. <laughs> then he'd be like, "Oh, I'm left with all the kids." <laughs> I forgot it was so soon. Just I just don't. You, you can get the bus. I'll pay. I'll give him money. Oh god. Where's bus fare? That'll be fine. Oh, it'll work out. Woo! We go in like five days. No, six days. Woo! Oh my gosh. I feel so warm. <laughs> okay, what should I be like? And then you just do your little surprise face, like. Wait. <laughs> Oh, no. Right, wait a minute. No, Sorry. No, I'm no. laughing at my hair. It looks so bad. So what do you want me to do? Go we'll do whatever you want. Just uh, what what your facial expression is when you're surprised. That's fine, that's perfect. Oh that's it. <laughs> that literally could not have been cuter. My mum is just adorable. After I turned the camera off, she started sobbing and she was like, I was trying so hard not to cry on camera. And she was like, you're just too kind to me. And she was like, I don't deserve this. And she was proper sobbing and I had to give her a cuddle. She was so cute. And I was like, mum, are you for real? Like how, 
can she not see that she deserves this so much? Like, my mum is so hard on herself when she's literally the most amazing person in the world, but she can never just see how good she is, like, and how amazing she is. So, honestly, I'm so happy that she's so excited. She cannot believe it. She's literally just been jumping around and just bawling her eyes out. She just cannot believe that we're going. So I'm super, super excited. But anyways, I am now just sat down, gonna edit for a bit. I've got, like, an hour and a half till Laura's finished off work so I'm gonna edit for an hour and a half and then go pick Laura up from work. I'm gonna edit my mukbang that I filmed today um, just because I have the busiest week ever. Like I literally just got home yesterday and then I'm away again in a couple of days to meet my friend Amber and then I'm away to Brighton like the day after that um, for a few days and then I'm just like literally never at home anymore so I'm trying my hardest the days that I am at home to actually film and edit and just like work so hard so um yeah that is the story at the moment. I have just taken all my makeup off which is why I'm looking so uh, but hey -oh. I need to try and get comfy. Ugh. Yeah, I just thought I would end the vlog here. Um, I've just taken my makeup off. I did so much editing. I've like done so well, I'm so happy. I've edited the video that I filmed today. I've edited the vlog up to where you're watching it just now. Like I've been so productive, made loads of thumbnails and stuff. Got my videos uploading as we speak. Um, I had macaroni cheese for dinner. It was so blooming good. Um, I feel like I had something else to tell you. I think I was editing back the vlog and I said I would tell you about something and then I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, it was about the drive through um, So I told you guys this morning that I would tell you about when I went to the drive through yesterday. So yes, I did have a McDonald's yesterday as well as today. Whoops. Um, but yeah, yesterday I went through the drive through for the first time and it was such a nightmare. So basically I said that I was going to wait to go through the drive through for the first time. Um, like wait for my dad. Because basically I thought my dad would be nice and calm and relaxed and then I wouldn't be stressing. Um, so <laughs> it didn't really turn out that way. So I like pulled up to the bit to order and she was like hi what can I get you like as soon as I literally pulled up and I was like um hold on a second because I like had to like put my uh foot on the clutch and like figure out what I was doing and try and get the car out of gear and put the handbrake on and stuff and she's like just waiting there and then I was like oh darn it where's my phone because I had like my list of our order on it all while she was waiting and there was like cars behind waiting as well and I was like oh my god and I was like hiya like bloody two minutes later and I sent my order so that was fine then I pulled up to the first window my dad was like what are you doing what are you doing you passed the window I was like dad what the hell are you talking about like I literally was not past the window and he was freaking out like telling me that I had gone past the window and the window was right there I, I was like dad what the hell are you doing so I was like arguing with my dad and I'm like dad what are you trying to say and then the guy's trying to speak to me and tell me the amount that I had to pay so um he told me the amount I had to pay but I didn't hear because my dad was yapping in my lug and um, so then I just like tapped the card but it was over £30 so then my dad was like why are you playing that? You need to pass me the machine like I was like oh my god so I passed my dad with the machine he typed in his number so then I pulled up to the next window and the guy gave us the drinks and one of them was filled with ice like so much ice I can't believe how much ice they put in it that the whole juice overflowed and then I was like oh my god you've got to be kidding me in my brand new car I cannot spill Diet Coke everywhere so my dad was like quick it's gonna spill so you need to drink some of the juice so he popped a straw in and I'm like he's holding the drink whilst I'm trying to drink it and then the guy's trying to pass me the rest of my food and I'm like stressing it was so oh just like so much was going on and my dad just was not helping like I probably would have been better going through the drive through on my bloody own <laughs> it was so funny and then the guy was like trying to pass me the food and he was like are you sure you've got it and I was like yeah oh my god probably doesn't sound funny but it was funny at the time and then Lauren and Danny were just sat in the back like what on earth what on earth is this family like <laughs> it was so funny um but yeah that was I think that was the only story I wanted to tell you <laughs> oh my god I ramble so much um actually there was another story oh yeah when I gave my mum the surprise today you know how she said 
oh, I'm really nervous when I handed her that card. She told me just now that the reason she was nervous is because she thought that I was gonna tell her that I was leaving again, like to go traveling and she just like wanted to cry. I don't know why she thought I would write in a card, but like when she opened it, she saw the seaside. She was like, oh my God, where is she going next? Like. I don't know, she had it in her mind that I was going away travelling again and she was like about to cry. She just did not want that to happen and I was like, no mum, I'm not going travelling. Well, going on a little trip with my mum. But anyways, yes, very excited for the Brighton vlogs. It's going to be so much fun. I've literally wanted to go Brighton since I was like little, so very excited. But anyways, I'm rambling now. Um, I'm so happy to be getting back into vlogging and um, like not that I ever stopped vlogging, but just getting more vlogs out. Um, there and just be more productive and yeah I hope you enjoyed today's vlog if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you so so much for watching as usual guys I love you all so much and I'll see you again very very soon bye